What's up guys, so today I'm going to be creating and playing on the new Hardcore Hell server. So yeah, if you saw my last stream, you know I already did this, but I ran into some glitches with the mods and the world had to be deleted, but anyway, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the final version, so yeah, I'm going to be playing it on stream today. I just set the stream to public and I'm creating the world right now. Yeah, basically, if you're watching this from YouTube and not from the live stream, this is the public server. Anybody can join, and all the info will be in the description. Alright, it should be up any second now. It's on like the final stage of starting up. What's up, Miro? Big Potato? Emma? Stratton? What's up? Should be up now. No, alright. So you guys can't see it right now, but I'm in the uh, console of the server. It was literally up for hours right before I started streaming. And the second I started streaming, now it's crashing whenever it starts. Hmm. Alright, consider this background a stream starting soon screen. I'll be right back. Hey, all right, we're in. Shout out to Flaming Sniper, probably the first person on the new world. So yeah, basically, the way this works is that this isn't going to like constantly get reset like last time. This is pretty much going to be the permanent world unless somebody somehow finds a way to like, I don't know, load up a corrupt chunk or something and I can't find a way to fix it, but... Yeah, I'm hoping that this world, like, permanently lasts for a while. And as you guys know, uh, every death you lose life permanently. So I'm not going to be paying too much attention to chat for the beginning because I don't want to get mauled by a day zombie and then have that be the rest of the playthrough. Oh yeah, I took out boomerangs. So, pretty rough start. Oh, if anybody wants to help me, I'm kind of stuck on this tower.
Alright, I'm gonna just try to hit the zombie from up here, but... Yeah, I don't think their AI will let me. It's probably not gonna come back, unless he knows he can get to me. Alright, may as well make some basic tools, I guess. Nothing better to do. Oh yeah, by the way, there's going to be a little bit of lag whenever people, like, load in new chunks, but I've fully tested the mod pack, and as long as nobody's, like, actively exploring, it should be pretty good. And yeah, we made it out of this one alive. Not going to start off with nine half hearts. Nine and a half hearts. Rest in peace, Flaming Spider. Flaming Sniper. No way, is someone in the chat going to buy someone else Minecraft? Okay, anyway, despite my last TikTok, uh, sky bases do actually work a little bit. You just need to be like really careful with them, but on the server, due to like, you know, actual server restrictions, the zombies can't see as far as they can in like normal hardcore hell too. And they need specific tools to mine, so it's not as dangerous. So I'm pretty much going to be trying to get like enough resources to sky base by the time night comes. Well, let me tell the Discord I'm streaming real quick. And yeah, to the people playing right now, I think that we should try to, like, stick together because, yeah, obvious reasons. So hell does generate in this mod pack, but it's like, I think a hundred times slower than vanilla. So yeah, cooking up this chicken might help like one or two hearts, but I'm not going to like go back up to full. But I'm trying to get high enough that I can run over and grab some of that iron without getting killed by chickens.
Yeah, chicken. Okay, you know what? That was probably pretty stupid. Should have made a shield. Oh yeah, Irene, this was the final reset, so pretty much like, this is the final world now. The other one's just testing the new mods, but yeah, there should be no more resets now. Should be on this lake permanently. Yeah, not a bad start. Two hearts, zero deaths. A lot of iron. So I just realized like halfway through mining, I gotta be kind of careful because it's called like a geo notch. Yeah, that thing. It can spawn randomly whenever I break ores. And if I was standing like right next to the iron when I mine that, I'd be dead. No, first server crash. Okay, so thankfully this is not a permanent issue. Um, It looks like it was caused by people generating too many chunks at the same time. So that stuff should go away once the server is a little more like established. What's up, Coco? How's it going? Ooh, all right, so we got a Geonotch Spear. So if you guys don't know with Lycanite's mob, you can pretty much, like, get random body parts from whatever you kill, and you can turn that into, like, pretty good gear. Like tools and stuff.
Yeah, Coco, I am playing on the public server. So for everybody that's joining, I'm on the public server right now. Anybody can join. IP is in the description, so is the mod pack link. It's Hardcore Hell 2 and Reen, you're confused about the regeneration. It's basically vanilla regeneration, except a thousand times slower. So occasionally you'll get a half heart every now and then, but you can't like rely on it basically. And yeah, again, if you want to join, this should be like the final server. It should not get reset. Hmm. And I did not gather enough blocks to tower up. And it's already nighttime. And it's a full moon. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. Uh, I do not want to die on this since it's not getting reset. And I don't think I'm prepared for the night. So if anything starts to like get really bad, I might just leave the server and wait for daytime. A bit of a cheap tactic, but it works. Stratton, I actually used to play Seven Days Today. That's like part of the inspiration for this mod pack because it was pretty fun, but it was on the PlayStation version, so it didn't really get updated at all. And after a while, it got kind of boring. Alright, I'm trying to make the Lycanite like tool stuff. I know there's a third part I need, but I don't remember what it's called, so if anybody knows what it is, please type it in chat. Probably that.
All right, now I just gotta wait for day. Whoa, wait, what? All right, do we have a betrayal? Alright, so, I feel like when new people start joining, spawn's gonna get pretty bad pretty quick, especially with, like, the Parasites mod and stuff. So, I think that during the stream, I'm gonna try to, like, make a prepared spawn area again, just, like, season one, so that, you know, people who spawn can have a place to go. Maybe get, like, a public mineshaft going, stuff like that. And I would start mining right now, but I feel like I need some more resources because there's a good chance that like one of those Geonauts things or like Silverfish or something will spawn. And if I die right now, I pretty much lose everything. Especially if I die underground. Yeah, the Endermen from Escape and Run suck. They've killed me quite a few times on the last one. Yeah, Coco, you do lose hearts, except this time you don't get permanently banned, and once you're down to five hearts, you stop losing hearts. So it's not, like, as bad. Seems like you're getting pretty lucky with no uh, mining zombies or creepers spawning yet. It's a pretty tame night. I had to like slightly lower the mob spawn rate just so like I can run it on a server and as you can see. Yo RxQR Barnes, what's up? Got obsidian already. Assimilated Enderman. That's what it is. About to hop on the server. I already got another person coming on. So if you're going to hop on the server, I would recommend waiting a little bit till it's not the middle of the night. You're potentially a murderer again. 
Um, I don't know. This one's pretty hard. If you try to, if you try to murder me, I don't, hmm, I'll just kill you. I honestly don't think you can. Why don't we make a gang or a guild to go beat that hellman? Uh, I don't know what hell you're talking about, what hellman you're talking about, but I'm definitely down to make a guild. Yeah, if anybody wants to like co-op on here, I'm down. Hopefully I'm trying to get like the entire server together. Oh, so we can be the pack together? Anyway, I'll be down. Alright, some new viewers joining, up to 10 viewers, so yeah, welcome to the stream. If you don't know what's going on, I'm playing on the Hardcore Hell 2 server. It's the middle of the night, I'm waiting for it not to be the middle of the night. And yeah, we got three people on right now. Looks like a fourth person tried to join, but was missing a mod probably. And yeah, I'm going to try to beat it. Yes, Smuro, this mod pack is really hard. It's probably the hardest mod pack there is in terms of like pure difficulty. But there are arguably harder mod packs that just rely on like grinding stuff. But in terms of like actual difficulty, this is the hardest one. All right, almost dead. That was a pretty easy night. Luckily, since it's on the server, I need to wait a few days till things like actually start spawning hard. So yeah, I got kind of lucky. Neck and Sniper, are you guys in the stream or are you just on the server? Oh yeah, Insanity may have been harder. But I feel like once you get established, once you could do everything like remotely in the sky, it kind of gets easier. Alright, it's daytime. Something's still shooting at me though, so I'm gonna be kind of careful. Uh... Crap. Alright, I don't have enough health to fight that thing. If anyone wants to come help me out, I'm pretty close to spawn. We got Goku. What's up? You're like right next to me.
Okay, it looks like the Banshee somehow died. Probably got shot by the skeleton. Which seems to have gone somewhere. Alright, I'm gonna make a break for it. Let's go, clean getaway. Alright, so I'm assuming that this plains area is the spawn. Actually, yeah, this is definitely the spawn. So, I guess we'll just start setting up here. Alright, the spawn house is not going to be as beautiful as in the first increasingly modded server, because... Yeah, and this one I can actually die, so I'm probably just going to make it out of, like, basic birch. Maybe once we'll start getting, like, stone bricks and stuff, I can make it look better. Alright, basic wooden house. Arguably the most basic house you can get. You know, even gonna throw in some andesite in here. Just for a uh, structural integrity. Dirt house is better. Uh, yeah, I agree. But I'm kind of scared of mine dirt because mining dirt breaks grass, and breaking grass has a good chance of spawning those like poison laser beam dudes. And bam, basic starter house. I'm going to take a quick break to read chat. What's the best strategy for this mod pack? Um, It's pretty new, so there's not really like a defined strategy. Definitely don't die. What's up, Broken Brick? Welcome to the server. Village equals zero effort to mine. So villages aren't as OP, like you can get some diamonds occasionally, but the other guys are probably out, already out there looting villages and like 
I don't know, they're not that OP in this one. There isn't a good place for a plant cave. Uh, I think there's a pretty good place for a plant cave. I bet we can find a good spot in those mountains over there. Although, it is pretty flat around here. I bet within like 300 blocks of spawn, that's relatively close. We can find a plant cave spot. Oh yeah, yeah, do not hit the pigs. Uh, Go inside, I don't want to help you because then the pigs will be attacking me too. But yeah, be careful with that. I got five people on the server. I, th I think this is going pretty well. Still zero deaths. I'm just going to establish this area a little bit right now, and then I'm going to go like fully mining at night. All right, cobblestone hut. There we go. Coco, you need the mod, uh, the description, how's the mod pack? Um, also you can go on Curse Forge, type in Hardcore Hell 2, search by recently updated instead of most popular. And then make sure if you've already downloaded it, like the actual Hardcore Hell 2, not the one that I like. What's up? Not the one that I like put on some random, uh increasingly modded thing then you probably need to update it um i'm assuming you already know how to do that since you joined my servers before man with a wooden pickaxe There you go, first iron. So if you guys recently joined the stream and are on the server, whenever you mine these ores, try to mine them from like as far away as possible. I don't even want to mine it with you right there because I don't want to kill you. Because yeah, geo notches can spawn. By the way, they're weak to pickaxes. Alright, this is pretty good. We got a little team of three, like a small faction going already.
Wouldn't it be cool to put some sort of raid boss with squad like every seven nights or so? Um, I don't know how to do that, but there is an invasion every five nights. We're pretty much a swarm of some random mob, normally mining zombies, just like attacks you. All right, we need more torches. Probably shouldn't mine into that cave. Uh, I would not go in there if I were you. I think we should try to seal it off and then just like keep the stairway going through it. But I'm gonna go try to find some more coal, I guess, make some torches. Hey, Coco, you made it in. What's up? For all the new people that came from the TikTok, Coco is one of the OGs. Alright, this is actually going pretty well. Nothing too bad has spawned on the server yet. The parasites haven't taken off. We got like a pretty good faction going. Got, I guess, four guys working together. And the mine shaft's coming along pretty well. Made it all the way down to 44.
There's some torches just in case uh he needs some. What's up to the new people joining the stream? Once again, I'm playing on my public Hardcore Hell 2 server. So if you want to join, link's in the description. And yeah, right now we're just building a mine shaft. going pretty well. If anybody knows of like a good actual faction mod, we, yeah. All right, those explosions are kind of worrying. Whatever, might as well just keep going. But anyway, if anyone in the stream knows of a good like actual factions mod where you can like keep track of who's working together, uh, let me know. That might actually be pretty cool. I'm gonna see what this chest is. Oh yeah, get out of there. Probably not going to want to open too many uh, cave chests in this pack. There's a lot of mimics and there's a small chance that you'll get like some rare bobble. Wait, actually? I'll try to kill it. I might have a bobble. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, so that's a champion from the champions mod, basically. Has a lot more health, deals a lot more damage. And it has some random special attribute. Uh, I wouldn't mess with that. A lot of them can one-shot you. Oh? Here, take my Iron Axe, we'll do more damage. Oh, uh, what was that? Okay, that's the end of the mine shaft for a little while. Just gonna, you know, go back up to the surface. Yeah, Goku slash Goki, you may want to heal a little bit. Or you down there. So healing pretty much comes from like, uh, no, actually you do not heal from sleeping. And I think healing or sleeping is disabled. If not, I forgot, but yeah, healing is just like normal healing, except it's one thousandth of the normal healing rate. So you just need to keep your food full and eventually it'll regenerate. Uh, who else would be talking in the stream? Oh, all right, all right. if you're asking why these guys aren't talking, their viewers are also from the stream. Um, they literally just joined the server from the IP and the mod pack. Yeah, sorry for my sloppy typing. I got a new keyboard and it's pretty sensitive. Hmm. Faction mod, proximity chat. Proximity chat would actually be pretty cool, but I have to make YouTube videos because I know some specific viewers that I wouldn't trust talking in a live stream. 
You know who you are. Alright, Brick, be really careful, because, you know, we're all at zero deaths right now. Our faction's going pretty strong. Okay, so what I'm making right now is I'm trying to make a Paxil, I think it's called. It's from Lycanite's mobs. It's basically like an iron pickaxe, axe, and shovel, except it only takes up one slot in your inventory, and it does not lose durability. So pretty much once you make this thing, you can keep it forever. And it doesn't really get like outdated, because even when you get like diamond, it's still an axe and a shovel. Oh, and a hoe, apparently. So yeah, I would recommend you guys making this too once you get the iron. Okay, so you're probably not going to want to go explore caves down there. Uh, there are a lot of traps, like the dispensers and stuff. I've died to them in the past. You know, it gets rough. I'm trying to do like a zero death run for as long as possible. Two iron. Okay, so we just made a pickaxe from the thing I got from the Junot, and this should mine in a huge area. Is silver good? I think silver is about the same as iron. Alright, let me test this thing out. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's overpowered. Yeah, one of the downsides of Lycan Knights, but... Oh well. You know, actually I'm just going to keep continuing the staircase because... In the future, we're probably going to use this a lot, so I might just want like a straight run up and down. Oh, nice, nice. Whoops. Yeah, you can see this thing's like, I don't know, just the best quality of life item. You don't need to constantly swap between stuff to mine dirt. 
Okay, this is either a very bad or a very good sign. Hmm. I know one of you is probably going to be brave enough to go down there, but I don't know if I'd recommend it. You know, actually, we got a full squad. Let's try to do this, like, strategically. We should try to get, like, good lines of sight down there. Okay, there's a huge cave off to that side. Just going to go ahead and try to block that off. And then on this side. Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, there's also stuff spawning in the lava. Yeah, I forgot about lava spawns. Maybe I should just continue the staircase. Meta item? Alright, what's the meta item? Okay, so I've already explained this, but I got requested to re-explain it in chat in case anyone tries to do it. Do not go to the nether. So every mob in there is infernal. If you do go to the nether without being fully prepared, you will die. Molten frying pan. Huh. Well, you would need a blaze rod. I'm not sure if you can get that in the overworld. What's up, O Andy? I think. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Pretty sure it's just Andy, but the O's throwing me off. But anyway, welcome to the server. Hmm. I'm just going to grab this gold really quick and come back. Yeah, it's healing is very slow. It's part of what makes it tough. I kind of like it. But also, if you make it to the nether, you can start making, like, healing potions and stuff. Hey, looks like you got Dark trying to join. Got some new people in the stream too, so yeah, once again, what's going on right now? Hardcore Hell 2 public server. It's going pretty well. Got a faction of I think five people now. And yeah, making progress, zero deaths. Um I 
How long will the server be up? Uh, it should be running 24-7. We should capture a nymph. Uh, I actually disable nymphs because they give you regeneration and healing is a no no. So, yeah, no nymph should spawn. Alright, I found one of those weird splitting silver fish, so we're just gonna come back up. I wouldn't hit those. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, every single time you hit them, they multiply. And yeah, eventually it lags out the server. I think we need to grab like a lava bucket or something to get rid of them. All right, Dark says, but what if you want to kill the Ender Dragon? Um, well, the end is also infernal with every single mob so there are ways to get past the nether my idea was pretty much like you run in as soon as possible yo what's up oh wait, wait stand still stand still it's a cool skin but anyway my idea was that like as soon as possible you try to block in your portal and then like slowly expand the area because there's not too much in there that can mine Can an iron trap kill silverfish with one hit? Um, I think it's worth a shot. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Andrea? Meteor sword? Alright, got a faction of six people now. We got zero murderers. It's going pretty good. Uh, how's the silverfish thing going? Is the server set to easy? You know what, actually? I should double check on that. It shouldn't be set to easy, but I do remember that occasionally my uh, settings get reset. Well, what do you know? Good catch, it is set to easy. I'll have to change that real quick. Alright, quick server reset while I make it not easy anymore. Good catch, good catch. All right, now the server should be on hard. Once it refreshes. If it refreshes. There we go. How to download mod. So look up how to download CurseForge. Download CurseForge. Click on the link in the description. And then it should have like a clear download symbol. Click download. It should open the CurseForge and start installing the mod pack. That was a very good catch that the server was on easy. Should be getting a lot better now. 
That actually explains why I didn't die at all. Be right back. I'm back, server's back on, and yeah, should be on hard mode, mode now. And there are no other resets because that wasn't a reset. Um, server's not going to get reset, just like restarted, but the world should remain the same. Weeping Angel. Our right, boys, do not get hit by that. They'll get teleported to some random spot, and yeah, it is the horror music mob. Okay, we're gonna need to. I'm gonna start a new mine because obviously we can't go down there anymore. Alright, Andy, are you in the live stream? And what the heck is going on down here? You know what? No, 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 I'm familiar with this. I hear something in some random cave, I peer over the edge to check it out. A creeper explodes and knocks me down there. Bam, I'm dead. Oh, whoops, I might have knocked, or uh, AoE. I'm gonna go grab an axe because I'm pretty sure my weapon has AoE damage. I don't want to accidentally kill you guys. Okay, so pretty much, um, just like make basic stuff to get started, you know, iron and stone tools, and then you could help us out on the mine. <clears throat> so, yeah, pretty much just trying to advance, get like gold, diamond, whatnot. Oh shoot, wait, I gotta make an axe and help you guys out. I distracted, my bad, my bad. I'm coming back. Wait. Goku, you can get your stuff back. If you're able to. It just sits there. Jeez. I should have grabbed a bucket of lava.
I mean, we could abandon the mine, but if we do abandon the mine, I'm pretty sure stuff will just keep spawning down there. Until eventually they mine their way up to our base. Maybe we should just abandon the entire thing, you know? Like, this is a pretty basic starter base. It's right next to spawn. We don't, like, too much invested in it. Alright, Reen said instead of torches, do lava and glass. Uh, I'm assuming so that the angel can't break it. It's probably a good idea. I do need to get... Oh no. I'm assuming it's not going down. Yeah, it's probably going bad in the mine. I would honestly get out of there. Might be time to just like abandon shit. We don't have diamond and I'm pretty sure I made it so that you need a diamond pickaxe to kill angels. It's going to be pretty hard to trap it with the zombies mining everything around it. Alright, maybe we need a new mine. Oh uh, yeah, the angel can pour you to the nether, and it also can randomly teleport you to a non-nether spot. Alright guys, we need to vote. Do we get a new mine in the same base, or should we just like completely relocate? Obviously, whatever's going on down there is not working. That's going to be a, a democratic faction. Make another mine. Alright, alright. Might as well start digging. Oh, also, if anybody's on the surface when nighttime comes, tell me. I think I'm going to try to go outside and place torches everywhere. Is there a way to regain health from dying? So, not right now. I think I'm going to edit a config eventually so that when you kill the ender dragon like withers and stuff, they drop heart containers, which you can uh, use to get your hearts back. But right now, there's not. But don't worry. Once you're at five hearts, it pretty much stops getting lower, so... You know, you won't constantly be one shot. And I'm sure eventually in the server, everyone's going to be at five hearts.
Mm. All right, I think I'm gonna go down there. Okay, this place doesn't seem too bad. I think we could try to establish in here. I'm going back up. I'm about to die. I'm out of food. What does this do? Has a chance to light attackers on fire. Hmm. It's pretty good. Your goku -y, Goku, Goki, whatever. Oh, I think you can have this since you initiated the fight with the Mimic. Put in the chest. What is going on over here? Yeah, we do need food pretty bad. Hmm. Maybe we need somebody on food duty. Especially before the night comes so we can start mining. Hey, got a new guy. Maybe retro. What's up? Welcome to the server. Feel free to join our little faction. We got the base near spawn. Alright, a village. This could be pretty good. I think I'm actually going to go over there. Alright, those bird things. They're bad news. So if you guys don't know Lycanite's mobs, those things will pretty much charge you down. They're super fast. Pretty hard to avoid. Let's see if this thing's been looted or not. Judging by the torch on the floor, I'm assuming a weeping angel was here. It's probably been looted. Oh no, whoa, alright. Solved our food problem. Take a carrot for safe measure.
Oh, uh, no, they got the soul thingies. Alright, so those little birds, pretty much, they shoot needles at you when you try to move. They're pretty deadly. They've killed me in other worlds before. A lot. So I just need to be careful around here. You know what? I'm just going to go back. I got food and I don't want to die. Oh, uh, sorry. I can't help you with that. Got to get the food back to the base. You know, actually, actually. Oh, you already took care of it. Yeah, what's a broken brick? Dang, alright, we got a lot of people on the server, and there's no lag. This is going pretty well. And yeah, we do still need more food, so, uh... Marine, when you can join the server, we need a plant cave. Thank you. If anybody needs food, feel free to take from this chest. And yeah, we need a lot more iron. Hmm. Alright, so I guess I'm going to try to wait and regenerate a little bit and then go back down in the cave because I think our main priority right now should still be mining, but... I don't want to get killed by something down there. Also, it seems like this day is lasting pretty long. Alright, I'm turning on my shaders. All right, we got Dark Usain in now. Wait, okay. Recap me on the last one. Was he a murderer? Because I thought Epic Rhino was the murderer. Actually, too dark. I'm taking off my shaders. Got a... Attention on dark. Alright, alright. I don't know. I played with dark in some of the other worlds and it didn't kill me. Okay. 
Okay, this feels really weird exploring caves with so little health. I don't know how to feel about this. Alright, I only got a little bit, but I'm going to come back because I need to heal. If I can find the way back. Yeah, 10 iron should be enough. I can make some like basic pants. Get a little bit more protected and heal it fully for like the bigger mining expeditions. And I hear silverfish. And someone just died by silverfish. I don't know. I don't like that. Okay, so both were murderers. Hmm. Yeah, Dark, don't try anything funny. Get the whole faction after you. What the heck? Shut the door. What is that thing? I think I missed gold in the lava pool cave. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, I probably did, but there's no way I'm going back down there. Uh oh, looks like we have some server lag. Someone's probably exploring some chunks somewhere. Okay, I'm pretty surprised. I haven't seen a single parasite yet. And I know for a fact that they're spawning because right before I started my live stream on the other server, I saw a bunch of parasites. Also, we're getting a small amount of lag now. I don't know. Maybe I got to start doing like... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I got to upgrade the server once I get money.
right, boys, this is going pretty good. We got, what, nine people on the server now? I'd say that's pretty successful. Still zero deaths. I think now we need to start expanding our base. Like, well, first of all, we got to mine a little bit because I think we should all try to get full iron armor. But after that, got to start getting like turrets and stuff, you know, protecting this place because the invasions are going to come pretty soon. And I edited the config file so that they specifically target chests and furnaces and stuff. So like, they'll be coming right for our base. I think one starts tomorrow. Nah, Dark's not running around. He's right here. It's probably a uh, Snack. Yeah, Snack and Sniper. I think they're the only two that aren't like in the faction. Uh, okay. Was Dark stealing all our stuff? Alright, alright, you know what? I trust you. I think eventually once like the server gets established, because I don't think this is a permanent base for us, obviously. It's more like a starter house tip set for uh you know new people joining so you get set up and stuff. But yeah, I think eventually we should go like a couple hundred blocks away. Make like a fully armored fortress. Uh what is that? All right, boys, gotta help me out here. There's a Gru in the cave. Somehow it teleported to me. I am inside it right now. If I join the server, I'm probably gonna die. I'm relying on you guys' faction to help me out. Meanwhile, I may as well delete all these worlds. So we got some new people in the stream again, so yeah, come join the server. The Gru is at the base of the second mine shaft. So if you go all the way down the stairs in the second one, and then he's on the right, so you shouldn't go too far down any caves, you should be like right there. Are the grooves in the base? Oh, that might actually be a bad thing. Alright, I'm getting my uh, absorption hearts just to be safe. Uh, whoever this was, I'll bring your stuff back.
Was that your stuff, Brick? Alright, whose stuff? Alright, Coco's stuff? Okay. Oh. Oh, why do I hear zombies mining? Coco, here, uh, I'll put your stuff in this chest. I don't really know what was yours and what was mine, so I just feel like... Everything that I don't think I had. Yes, you can take cobble. Sorry if I just hit someone. Sorry. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Alright, turret. Okay, all I need is some redstone. We definitely have redstone. Right? No redstone. Okay. That crazy guy outside? I don't really know what to do while I wait for healing because, yeah, I obviously can't go like hardcore mining right now. You can kill it with spawn immunity. Yes, I can kill it with spawn immunity, but that's like kind of cheating. All right, XY asks, what is different about hardcore hell two compared to hardcore hell one? So basically. This one, in Hardcore Hell 1, you can get like a bunch of enchantments and become overpowered. And then there's like loot everywhere, and you got baubles. And you pretty much make an advanced enchantment table. And then in the end game, you can't be killed unless your gear breaks. But in this one, you're going to be killable throughout the entire run. It's a little bit slower. The nether is much harder. And it's also more optimized for multiplayer so that I can do things like this. Champion Ruin Cave. Okay, I think we might need to relocate pretty soon. This is getting kind of rough. Like, this many people and we can't even make a mine shaft because of the mobs. Hmm. Uh oh. Looks like the server might be crashing. It's a lot of people leave at once. Yep, server crashed. Alright, alright, let me see what was up here. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like the same thing as before. Somebody was probably loading too many chunks at once. So after the stream, once there's nobody on the server, I have another mod called Trunk Pregenerator where I can pretty much like load the chunks for us so this won't happen, but yeah, in the meantime, we're going to have to deal with this. No, I think that the multiplayer makes it easier to get zero deaths because... Like, as you can see, nobody here is really hostile. We're all working together. It's going pretty well. And yes, I do know like we respawn because of darkness. Yes, yeah, so there's probably an unlit place down there. Hmm. 
Okay, I think in the morning I'm going to try to get an apple and make a golden apple so I can start like mining again because yeah, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are just watching the stream and not actually playing, don't want to watch me standing around. There's no way all of you guys are standing still right now. Is it about to crash again? No, all right. Weird. All right, what if we all go down in this mine together? You know, if anything pops up, we can fight it. And I have no idea what to use a fallen star for, but it's from the Nyx mod. Hey, let's go. All right. So first order of business, we got to place the torches so that nothing else spawns. You know what? Change my mind, change my mind. I think we should close this place off and just like dig a new area. Because, yeah, I don't know if cave exploring is the best idea. Until we have like actual armor. Okay, I don't have enough. <clears throat> I don't have enough health to mine it, but it seems like you might just try to like mine it with your shield up, like mine and then put it up instantly. And normally they don't hit you. <clears throat> anyway, mine shaft part two. Oh yeah, whoops, I kinda knew that was there. That was stupid. Nope. Okay, back there, that's where we need to light it up. Nope, actually, maybe we just need to close that area off. Seems pretty dangerous. Get all that dude stuff first. Oh, come on. Alright, going back to the original plan, we just gotta strip mine. We just gotta avoid all caves, avoid everything like that, and just make like a basic strip mine. Because obviously, caves are not working out. Right now there's an angel near me. Okay, I think we might just need to completely relocate, like, I don't know, none of the ground near here seems good. There's a lot of caves. A lot of things have already had time to spawn. So. Alright. I think we should just relocate to that village.
Yeah, I'm making a break for it. This can be the abandoned starter base for anybody that wants it. All right, new base. You're probably set up somewhere around here. I'm thinking over the ocean because, like, despite the lichen knights, it might be easier to defend. I don't have any like crazy ocean monsters in this one. Aqua creepers. There are not aqua creepers. Thankfully. Although, if the ocean's too overpowered, I may add something else to the pack. But for now, I think it might be pretty safe. And yeah, it should be like easier to defend too from all the land mobs. Also, I'm going to try to make this out of, like, Bruce so it doesn't look horrible. Oh, I didn't take any stone or brick with me. Hmm. Oh, there's an island right there. You know what? I didn't even see that. We can just make the base on the island. Or take over that pirate ship. More are coming. What's going on? Okay, anyway, in the meantime, I do think we really got to start getting mining for like, I don't know, apples and gold and stuff. So you can like actually start healing. I haven't made too much progression in a while. Definitely need an enchantment table as soon as possible. So yeah, I'm just going to go over to that island and try to start... Another mine, I guess. That's one like a proper strip mine, like straight down, straight in a line. What if the ship burned down? Um, how would it burn down? I guess like from the lava or something if I place it, but.
All right, I guess we'll just go straight down. Yeah, seems like a good spot for a new base. I feel like this will be really easy to defend from invasions. Hold on, let me check, check uh, chat and Discord and stuff real quick. There's a Medusa temple. Um, yeah. Do I need string for anything, though? Wait, alright. Flaming Sniper, first one to run out of lives? Uh, wait a minute. I thought I disabled that. Hold on. Alright, once nighttime hits, I'll go into, like, the config, and, yeah, if you're actually banned from running out of lives, I can, like, undo that. But the life laws of banning should be off. Feel weird mining these so close. Oh, two game leaves at once. Is the server about to crash? Nope. All right. All right, so right now I'm just trying to like make sure that my uh, direct route down doesn't get exposed to like a mine or anything because I don't want anything spawning in there getting in here. Artificially out of inventory space. We have to like start actually setting up the base. steak for some iron uh i got a lot of food what do you need iron for i mean I, you can use my mine if you want just wait till i get like the actual strip mining phase if you go mine some yourself Here, uh, I just put a bunch of armor in the chest. First person to take it can have it, so if you get over here fast enough, you can get some armor.
was what? Oh yeah, if you see like those little, what the heck is that on the water? Anyway, if you see like those little faction dudes, you're gonna want to try to avoid them. Because I think all of them are hostile. So XY, it's called Epic Siege Mod, and it only works in 1.12.2. But yeah, Epic Siege Mod. Pretty great, actually. It's one of my favorite mods. It's also what makes animals fight back, and what makes creepers start exploding before they actually, like, reach you. Right, I'm starting to get pretty hungry. I might end the stream soon. But, yeah, I'm keeping going for a little bit longer. What's my favorite structure mod? Um, the one I use most is Recurrent Complex, which is pretty much like what adds the expanded villages and stuff. Uh, there's another mod though called the Ruins where you can pretty much like add your own structures. And then I kind of grabbed the structures from RL Craft for my last one. But the problem with that is that like most of them, they're so great because they're like absolutely huge. So they can cause a lot of world gen lag. So with something like this where people are going to be like, Generating a lot of worlds if I had the ruins one there would probably would have crashed like twice as much I think this new base is going pretty well. We tried adding AVP into Hardcore Hell. Um, Alien vs. Predator mod? 
If so, I actually have. But they pretty much like spawn too frequently and I feel like it adds a lot of weapons that can't be disabled and it kind of doesn't... Those don't fit the theme of the game, even though the actual like predators do or aliens or whatever. Dark try to kill someone. Huh. Yo, I climb up the ladder, I'll shoot. Ah, whoops. Damn it. Oh. Dang, I really misstepped and got fall damage. That's probably the worst way to die because, like, it's unavoidable. Alright, we still got nine and a half hearts. And that's why you need a uh, enchantment table, feather falling, like feather falling and blast protection and stuff. Pretty uh, crucial in the mod pack. Thank you, Andy. And that was rough. All right, anyway, back down to the bottom. 33. Whoops. Let me check something, because for the... I'm pretty sure you need some sort of crystal for the refined storage mod. I haven't seen any. Processor binding? Slime ball? Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of the mod that adds the ME system. Oh, this is perfect. Mobs can't spawn in the water. All right, this is good. This is good. Okay, so on live streams, I have a pretty bad history with water. For most of you know this, but I think I've got the strategy down. Literally just swim around until I get kind of low, and then I drop a door. Yeah, the creeper exploding thing is also the epic siege mod. It makes them explode whenever they're near a structure that is layer made.
All right, it's actually a pretty cool small little cave. There's nothing dangerous around here. This might be a good, like, mining base. Oh yeah, let me go double check and make sure that one person's not banned. They are banned. Let me fix that. It's a temporary fix for now, but after the stream I'll permanently fix it so that it doesn't like do that anymore. You should add mousies. I actually already have mousies. And believe it or not, I think it fits with the pack pretty well, like the random giants underground and stuff. Okay, yeah, this thing's a little overpowered. I don't know about it. So I just realized that while nothing can normally spawn underwater in caves, um, I haven't tested this with Lycanite's mobs, so there's a very good chance that like some random thing can come and try to draw me or something. Yeah, let's fix back. Let's fix a little overpowered. It's not even taking that much durability. It's like one normal mine of durability for a bunch of blocks. Hmm. Whoops. And back down to not full health. Thank you, thank you. What's up, sus homie? I don't think I've seen you in chat before. Got a very uh, interesting name. All right, I'm out of doors. I have one door left. I'm out of wood. Not gonna lie, I did get a little lost. I don't know where I'm going.
Probably not that way. Rest in peace, Goku. Rip. Let me see how everyone's doing. Oof. Alright, let me go and ban you. I'm assuming... Oh, no, you... Alright, you should have one more death. Okay, the banning should be off, so after you die again and get banned, let me know, and I can go unban you. Assuming you die again. Oh yeah, nice catch. Forgot about the ladder. Alright, bad news. I am completely lost. Probably need to go back that way. I don't know, I'm pretty sure how to go the other way. Okay, a door. We made it, we made it. Don't go to the sand base. Uh, what's up the sand base? <clears throat> Mobs. All right. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. Yeah, this definitely was not the right way. I can't just like mine straight up because. I will probably get killed. I probably like mine up into a cave or something. And so we got Epic Rhino about to join. All right, I'll keep the stream going for a little bit longer, but I do need to get food eventually. Alright guys, is there a faction of like a main base or something right now? Are we still using the original base? Because apparently the island's been taken over. I'm not really sure where to go. Okay, Lycanites do spawn down here. I don't think they're crabs friendly. Yep, nope. You know what? I'm just going to assume that's not the right way to go. I'm not going down there.
Dang, okay, if this goes on for like five more minutes, we'll start mining back up. Okay, I've already been down here, and I'm pretty sure this was a dead end. Yeah, this looks familiar too. I don't know if I went this way yet, though. Probably shouldn't go that way. All right, don't worry, I got you, Goku. Let me unban you real quick. Oh, are you not banned? Hmm. No, it should be good. Yeah, no problem. I th actually thought that I took out like the unbanning thing before I started this. Oh, people weren't supposed to get banned anyway because like I don't have enough people to be doing that. Uh, I don't like this. Yeah, I'm actually kind of low in health. Okay, you know what? Just time to start mining back up. I can't survive down here too much longer. I'm definitely lost. There's no one getting to that exit. Alright, you're still banned. Let me see here. Um, you should not be banned. I'm going to have to restart the server for it to take effect. You know what? Yeah, I'll see that really quick. While I'm at, I could change the config file so that no one else will be banned. Save and close. Home. Restart. Thank you, Reen. Goodbye. Thank you for the uh, yummy food wishes. All right, server restarting. Is 
know, while I'm live, may as well give a shout out to all those people on TikTok who ask every single video what mod pack it is, even though it's in the first two words of every TikTok and in the description. And I always leave a comment that says it and pin it. I reply to like half the comments. And it's also everywhere if you look on anywhere on my TikTok page. See you, XY. Have fun. Wait, Andrew used to play on the original Hardcore Hell? Huh, that's weird. I tried it, but it was like, I had a lot of problems. Speaking of problems, the server is not starting. Give me a sec. Oof, all right, so it's having trouble restarting. Uh, huh. This might be the end of the stream, but I'm not gonna reset the world. I bet I can get it fixed from here. Let me just look at a few things really quick. Look at the crash report. Okay, actually, never mind. I think I fixed it. I left the uh, ban player file blank instead of empty. See you, Goku. Sleep tight. Okay, it's starting correctly now, but either way, I think I might stop the stream here. So, yeah, thanks for coming and have fun on the server.